Good evening, everyone. So as Atif said, my name is Amr Twedli. I'm a senior at the University of Michigan studying history and Middle East North African studies. Uh, and I'm not going to take too long. I just wanted to talk uh, a little bit about, um, provide, a, I guess, a micro history of my involvement with ESA and how uh, Egyptian Student Association and how we uh, kind of experienced went through and, and tried to live through uh, the events that were happening in Egypt, but then also bring it back and take a step further um, and look at challenges facing kind of maintaining interest and maintaining, um, you know, just issues that that, era, uh, that I feel like are, are, you know, obviously evident for immigrants in general, but that are um, of this kind of very pertinent and uh, very relevant for Arab American youth. Um, to kind of maintain that transnational tie. So the Egyptian Student Association is pretty much uh, a cultural org. Um, you know, we, we have a Kushiri night um, once a semester to get um, Egyptians on in the community, on campus, uh, to come together. Uh, we've done some movies, uh, some movie nights, um, and that was pretty much, you know, what we did. It was a small organization. We had anywhere from you know, Egyptian international students, we've had Egyptian Americans like myself, we've had, um, you know, some Egyptian Americans who uh, were half Egyptian, half, I mean, half white, and that was a very, a very, um, an extra dimension to sort of our group dynamic, um, you know, and we also had, a, we had two students, two or three very active students who were just, they just studied abroad in Cairo and fell in love, and uh, you know, really wanted to get to know some of the Egyptians on campus. So we had sort of people all over the, the spectrum. Uh, and, you know, we kept it cultural. We didn't really talk about politics or religion. Um, and then finally, the revolution happened, and we found ourselves, uh, you know, asking what can we do, and sort of along with SAFE and along with uh, a lot of, of the other Arab cultural organizations, we organized a pretty large demonstration on campus. And to sort of supplement that, we had a um, you know an academic panel as well. So it was balancing both uh, vocal vocal op opposition and show of solidarity with sort of um, a nuanced uh, debate and discussion on on issues that um, that is you know, Egyptians will face moving forward. Um, you know, and then interestingly enough, one of the issues that we've had as ESA is maintaining um, to to get sort of a Coptic voice in. It was very much always, uh, especially sort of my own experience, the, most, the Egyptians that my family knew growing up, so uh, gr growing up, um, so I just, I knew everyone there uh, for the most part, and so it was sort of just like seeing friends, and then every once in a while we had new faces, um, and we never, we never were able to get uh, um, a significant Coptic showing in, uh, in the ESA. I, except during the protest, and that was sort of one interesting thing looking back on it, uh, sort of what unites, um, and we saw pictures in the media here of, uh, you know, the, the, the circle holding hands, protecting uh, the people who were praying in Tahrir Square, um, and, you know, that was, so in, in that case, we were able to use um, this, this more looming threat, this issue of, of you know, are our, our families safe, uh, you know, what will happen to Egypt to get uh, um, to kind of put aside, you know, tensions within Egyptian society, uh, and, and just focus on, you know, we are Egyptian first and foremost. Um, and then to, to uh, fast forward until today, there's still, um, we still struggle with participation, uh, and, and organizing and sort of maintaining focus, which I say, um, I say not to, to sort of belittle or undermine the ESA, but to show, uh, sort of as a case study of how, um, how is it, you know, that interest in, in a particular issue comes and goes? Um, and so, you know, it's the protests or the, the revolution, especially uh, at first, was this very catchy, very flashy subject, you know, the, uh, striking images. You could see it on every, every, you know, media website, every newspaper, whether it was Arabic or, you know, um, quote unquote Western, whatever you want to call it. It, it attracted everyone's attention. Um, whereas now, uh, especially, you know, um, some of uh, some of the points have been raised, you know, as, as I, I guess, you know, to air this dirty laundry or issues that are, uh, that have been in Egyptian society, uh, you know, now that that's starting to come to surface, how is it that we can talk about these issues 
and maintain interest and, and maintain sort of unity. Uh, so to, to, to take it a step kind of further, um, I just have you know, a few questions that uh, sort of looking back on, on the past two years um, and just with some of my own work looking at uh, Arab American, Muslim, Muslim American uh, and identity politics, uh, sort of two, two sets of tensions, one being internal tensions kind of within a community and then one being external. Uh, so for example, when I say internal, I mean uh, being and being you know as a part of the Egyptian community and then external being uh, this this transnational link so yes I am an Egyptian but I am also an American and how do you balance you know the these loyalties and these 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 cultures and these uh, sets of obligations that come from being a part of both groups uh, so to kind of you know within internal tensions we have uh, you know lots of lots of debate over the um, you know, fear of this Muslim Brotherhood takeover, the role of um, you know Islamist, uh, you know Islamist fundamentalism coming and sweeping Egypt. Uh, there are, I'm sure most of you have seen in the media or on blog posts, uh, issues of of, uh, of rape and sexual harassment in Tahrir Square, and so uh, so that's sort of one set of tensions that are in within Egyptian society, uh, and then to to go along that there are external tensions. So one of the most evident. Uh, being, you know, especially as the revolution happened, um, you know, immediately reports of the U.S. government funding and it, that um, it was the tear gas. The tear gas that was used uh, was, I mean, it was given by the U.S. government and it was manufactured in the U.S. So then, how do you balance, you know, being being an Egyptian American? How do you balance that? How do you how do you try to rationalize that? Uh, so yes, once again, yes, I am Egyptian, but. I am American as well, and I obviously do not condone those acts, but I can't just brush that aside. You know, it's, it's sort of understanding that for better or for worse, you, you do belong to a community, and so how do you, uh, so how do you sort of rationalize that? Um, and then uh, sort of a second, a second set of uh, external tensions has been media coverage. Um, and so, you know, for ex especially with the, the discussion on uh, uh, status of women and, and rape and sexual harassment in Tahrir Square. Uh, so how is it that we can uh, we can we as Egyptians can have this discussion without falling into this this Western report of of women are being oppressed and that this is a problem that's you know um, rel it's 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 an Egyptian problem whereas uh, the problem is reflective of structural inequality related to gender and, and access that isn't that isn't inherently Muslim or Coptic. Or Egyptian, uh, we we see it here in the U.S. We see it in Egypt. We see it in every country. So these are uh, issues of structure and structural inequality. Uh, so, but then at the same time, we hear sort of Western media outlets that report a very different story. And so, how can we have these discussions that need to be, uh, you know, start within the Egyptian community and branch outward? How can we have that without falling into? Um, sort of this 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 notion of internalized guilt and 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 fall in it and avoiding that 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 idea of uh, you know is this is this really an Egyptian issue, um, and so uh, those are those are sort of the, the 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 way that I've rationalized the things that I've been a part of, um, you know, just within the ESA and then you know my own experiences, you know, being born and raised here, but also kind of moving uh, every summer, spending my summers in Egypt. So thank you.